hello and welcome to Chemix. Today we'll build a digital thermometer probe to monitor the temperature during distillation. Okay, so here's what you'll need. Some pliers, a piece of 8mm glass tubing, um, a ground glass joint to thread adapter that fits your still head. So in my case it's an NS1423 ground glass joint to a GL18 thread adapter, uh, a fitting nut with a hole in the middle, one of these uh, rubber washers with a Teflon liner, and of course a thermocouple and a way uh, to read it out. You could also use a multimeter if it supports um, thermocouples. But you can get these uh, off of eBay pretty cheap. And then a straw and a skewer. Apart from that you'll also need uh, some way uh, to heat the glass. So I'm just using a little Bunsen burner. And you need some uh, thermal conductivity paste. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we'll have to do is to melt this piece of glass tube shut. So we're just going to heat it and then pinch the end with some pliers to close it. Okay, And make sure to wear some glass that can handle the heat. Okay, so let's fire this up. And we'll start heating the glass tube. Be sure to heat it evenly so it doesn't crack. Okay, now the glass tube is shut and I'll admit it's not the prettiest thing I've ever done but it does its job. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to put some thermal conductivity paste right here at the tip. See you in a bit. Now we have to get some thermal paste to the bottom of this glass tube but if you were to just shove it in we'd probably lose everything on the side walls. So I figured the best way is to take a straw and put a dab of uh, thermal conductivity paste right here in the bottom. Then you can push the straw in and use a skewer to push the paste out uh, the bottom. So you only get thermal uh, conductivity paste where you want it and not smear everything on the side walls. Okay. So first off we have to shorten the straw a little bit so we can actually reach uh, the bottom with our skewer. Now that's done, we take some paste that should do the trick and we push it in. Be careful not to push the straw in too far because you will not get it out. Now we use uh, the skewer to push the paste out the bottom and there we go. Now we can pull them out. And now we've got some thermal conductivity paste right where we want it. Okay. Now we have to get the thermocouple down the tube so that the tip actually reaches uh, to the very bottom and this is also done using our trusty skewer so let's start feeding it in there and we, well, we might not even need the skewer okay so we're pretty much done here all that's left to do now is 
to tape the thermocouple wire down so it doesn't accidentally get pulled out. Okay, first we're just going to push in a little bit of paper towel. Okay, that should be enough. Cut off the rest. Okay, now a piece of electrical tape. Again, not pretty, but functional. Okay, so here we are. That's our probe finished. As for how to use it, it's actually pretty straightforward. We take our rubber washer, put it on there, then screw the cap on, and then we can push our glass rod through here and really tighten the cap down. Okay. Then the end is plugged into our digital thermometer. And if we turn that on, you can see it's actually 20 centigrade, uh, degrees centigrade in here. If I warm this up using my hand, you can see the temperature rise. Okay, so that wraps up this build. I hope you liked it and leave any suggestions in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you want and I'll see you on the next one.